Hello and welcome to Terraria. My name is Todd, also known as Major Mac, and this is, of course, Terraria. Uh, last time around, we had a pretty good success of downing the Grand Thunderbird uh, after getting horribly murdered by the Eater of Worlds. So this time around, uh, my main focus is going to be on trying to either kill the Eye of Cthulhu or the Eater of Worlds. Um, those are the two big ones that if we can kill either of those, we'll progress pretty far, uh, pretty fast. Uh, some of the ones in between, like the Desert Scourge and Crabulon, uh, which you can see there, are not as important, though they're not uh, in in you know, they're, they're, we're going to kill them eventually, uh, effectively is all I'm trying to say. Alright, but those are the two we're going to focus oh, Cremonies, on the next few episodes on. Now, I would like to build more stuff here, but can't really do that. No, a meteorite landed. Um... You know, actually, it would probably be really beneficial for us if we could mine that meteorite. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to focus on getting enough slime, which we've now got. Let's see, do we have any more slime anywhere? Da -da -da. A little bit. Or gel. Forgive me. Gel, not slime. I just always call it slime just because it comes from slimes. Um, and then we're going to need all of our bombs. So we can mine up that meteorite. If I can find them. I hate, I hate normal chests for this reason. Just because we have to go looking through all of them. Try and find what we're looking for. Uh, da, 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 da. I know we have... Oh, we have bombs in our actual inventory, of course. Oh, Of course. Alright, so we're going to make a bunch of sticky bombs. Just convert them all. So we can go mine that meteorite when we find it. And so let's see, what can we build with Samstorm stuff? So as I stated previously, we are going to focus on the magic or uh, melee uh, stuff in the later parts of the game. But I was thinking about it recently and we did just have some really good success with the range stuff. Uh, so I might decide to uh, class up in multiple different classes depending on kind of what weapons we get our hands on. And we got a really nice bow right now, so I think I'm going to stick with the ranger stuff. Um, not to say that, you know, uh, magic and melee won't be good, uh, you know, if we could get something as comparable to this bow. But just, you know, just for now, because it's all we've kind of got that's really, really good, we'll stick with it. Now let's see. The pickaxe is just the same as our, our iron pickaxe, so it's not super great to deal with. The axe is probably much better than our axe. What happened to our axe? We have an axe, or at least we had an axe at some point. Okay, so our copper axe is 35 axe power, so it's actually uh, the... Uh, copper axe is actually a better one than the sandstone axe, I think, if I was reading that correctly previously. Um, don't want to get any, rid of any ones that are materials, but this short sword, we can sell that. We can also sell this didgeridoo. I don't... I'm not a big fan of the bard class. The bard class is in uh, Thorium, and there's... ain't nothing wrong with it. It's a good class up until the end of Thorium, but it's not good any past that, really. So I'm not going to really worry about it. So let's see. Fast speed. So speed is much better, which might be worth it. Plus you get the wind burst. Uh, yeah, let's make it. We'll make an axe. And hammer. Yeah, we can make a hammer too. Just to get rid of the slow speed. Um, not necessarily saying they're better, but the speed alone is probably... Uh, worth it. So we'll we'll make those we'll make some tools out of the sandstone that we got last time. Just so we can speed things up a little bit. Uh, let's see. We won't make an axe. Just well, let's see how f it's very fast. This one's also very fast, but it does have the wind burst. Let's let's make it that as well. We'll make this. So we have an axe, and we'll make a hammer. Tools are, of course, always one of the best things to build right off the bat, if you uh, can. And we can, so we're gonna. That's a material. This isn't, so we'll sell that. That's not a material. We'll sell that. 
So that's an okay. So we are good to go there. Gonna go exploring in the world and try and find that meteorite. And I I would probably try to fight the Aya Cthulhu right now if I was able to, um, but I think night is pretty much almost over at this point. And we've only got one suspicious looking eye, so it's probably best not to waste it on a, an attempt that would get us killed right away. So we'll focus on trying to go and find that meteor. Oh boy, a blizzard. That's always good to see. Not. Ooh. I do quite like this uh, bow. This bow is quite good because the storm arrow effect that it has on it. It creates a good amount of light too, which is nice. I'm getting a little bit of slowdown, I think, there. I'm not sure if that was slowdown or if it was just a blizzard creating that effect, but it felt like it was slowing down. On my frames, anyway, that is. Blizzards aren't super hazardous uh, at this part of the game, but later on they'll be annoying. I thought that was 100 damage, but I guess it was only a 10, maybe, plus 10? Uh, yeah, that's probably just 10 plus 10. Let's kill some eyeballs. Get out of here, eyeballs. I don't want nothing to do with you. Ironically, because of the uh, effect of this bow, it might actually be a lot more worth it to make just a normal magic quiver than a fire magic quiver. And thanks to Infinity, the mod, uh, we can make that very early on. Oh, yes. Perfect. So we've got the meteorite right away. That's fantastic. Now we will just start bomb mining it. That is, if this strategy still works, and it does. Good. You never know what they change when you uh, download a new mod, so sometimes you got to be aware of the fact that some things are going to change. All right, we're going to try and stay off of the meteorite as much as possible and not get killed by some meteor heads. I think there are some enemies that spawn at a meteorite as well from one of the mods, so I don't think I'll mine all of this meteorite. Uh, I think I'll save at least a little bit of it. Uh, can we mine it normally? Nope. Can't mine it normally. I think you might need a... See, there's an enemy that we you typically wouldn't see if you didn't have mods, and it's a space slime. Uh, so We can't mine the meteorites with the pick we've got, but we can bomb it, so that's what we'll be doing. Yep. Gotta avoid being killed by these meteor heads. Boy, our musket sure just does a monster amount of damage. It was a really good, good, good find. Oh, I think I heard another one of the enemies. Much more troublesome enemy uh, that you can find around meteorites, which is the meteor uh, UFO. They're like little aliens. Very problematic. If we can get enough of this meteorite, we can actually switch back to magic, though, which is way better than uh, our little bow here, because we can get the laser gun. But we're going to need lots of meteorites. And what do we need to make meteorite bars? Oh, the UFO's coming. UFOs are problems because they do shoot. And they do a lot of damage. Holy cow. That thing does a monstrous amount of damage. Oh, we just barely killed it, but we're probably going to die to a slime. Oh, come on. There we go. Holy cow. Oh, that's <laughs> that UFO was tougher than some of the bosses we dealt with. Um, Crabinies. Almost killed me right then and there. You really just gotta watch those UFOs if you're trying to do meteorite stuff, because the mods that added that... I think the Thorium mod is the one that added the UFO in, but that UFO is super dangerous. Just because its ability effectively makes it shoot very quick homing projectiles, and oh, I'm gonna die. Oh. Ooh, almost died to that water there. I was trying to get the heart. Realized very quickly that I wasn't gonna make it in time. Okay, I think I got all of the stuff there. I don't really want to go straight back over there just yet. Maybe I'll eat a pie. There we go. So, of course you can't eat those all the time. You get a full stomach. Um, which is effectively the same as a potion cooldown, but it's great to have the pies and 
conjunction with potions. Yeah, just because you get that extra health regeneration as well. Still just slowly trying to work our way towards getting enough meteorite. I don't remember what we have to use to make... Uh, wow, oh, that meteorite took away <laughs> half my health just that quickly. What we have to combine to make meteorite bars. Nothing? Nothing. Okay, awesome. So if we can just get our hands on enough meteorite, we can make meteorite bars, which let us make the meteor set and the space gun. Uh, oh, it also allows us to make a summon, which is a pretty good summon, too. Ooh. So we'll make that summon as well if we can get enough. But I'm just going to keep trying to get enough of this as well, as much of it as I can, that is. I'll probably wear that meteorite set all the way up until we fight the wall of flesh. Uh, maybe, anyway. That would be kind of boring if we didn't ch check out any of the modded sets, though, because there is one modded set that is pretty cool. Oh, just trying to stay away from that bomb, and uh, of course they take a bunch of damage to do so. Okay, I killed this. Alright, so the one enemy here that we do want to be able to fight is those UFOs. Cranies. Oh, and that was the end of me. I hope that uh, meteorite didn't disappear. Um, at least the stuff that dropped from the bomb. I'd like to go get it. The UFOs actually do drop an item that can summon bosses, or a boss in particular. Um, I don't remember which one it is. I think it's the Star Scouters is, what, is the one that that is, but we won't be able to deal with any of that right away. Star Scouter is actually quite a difficult boss in the Thorium mod, and unless we're geared enough for fighting him, I don't think we're going to really want to take our chances on that one. I'm mainly just trying to get the meteorite set, of course, to uh, focus on getting my way towards killing the Eater of Worlds, because the meteorite set is perfect for doing just that due to the fact that the laser gun pierces and its special effect helps as well. Okay, cool. So it didn't disappear. Alright. We got tons of meteorite, at least for the moment. I'm going to go see if this is enough for making everything we need to make. Let's hope. I prefer not to be spending forever there. I will add on to this house eventually, but right now we've got the NPCs that we need, such as the nurse and the merchant and the demolitionist. The demolitionist was the big one that we actually needed. Um, later on, when we have better tools, we'll expand much, much more and much quicker. Okay. All right, so I need my furnace. Now we look for it. Oh. <laughs> Never try and click things when you have your uh, mirror out. Always a bad idea. Okay, let's see. So we will just make all the bars that we can. Hopefully that's enough. Uh, so some of the things you could make would be things like a meteor fist. Hmm. I don't remember that. Meteorite oboe, bard stuff. Meteorite mask for your... Uh, Minions, if you wanted to go minion route, and the meter ahead staff. But the main thing that we're trying to get is our good old-fashioned meteorite set. Oh, that's a lot. Only got ten bars left. Looks like we don't have enough to complete um, completely get everything. Uh, we'll have to go back and get some more so we can get the final part, which is the laser gun, which kind of rounds out this set. We will toss our Wolfram set into a chest. Man, didn't even remember what my character looked like. It's been so long. Alright, so we are kitted up now. Now we've got a cool little trail follows around. We'll throw our Wolfram set into a chest. I'd like to keep old armor sets just because... Uh, force a habit, kind of. Don't really have to keep the Wolfram set. If you wanted to sell it, you could go right ahead. I just think it's cool to keep them... Um, Oh my god, that's Pinky. A uh, little pink slime right there. He'll drop a lot of gold and some pink jello if we can kill him. That is, if we can kill him. I think our bow's doing an okay job of knocking him back. We didn't have our summon out, I just realized that entire time. Um, oh boy. Uh, come on. Come on. There we go. We're getting him. I think our uh, 
musket is a little bit better for this than anything else. There we go. Got some pink gel and some gold. Perfect. Just what we need. Alright, so we'll deposit the gold. And we will deposit everything else. Sort inventory. Quick stacked in here by chests. I will throw my gel in a chest. I will also throw the pink gel in the chest. Don't need it right now. We'll probably need it later, but not worried about it right now. Eventually we'll just have to build such a large place that we can uh, house just a ton and ton of NPCs. Because there's a lot with all the mods that I've got installed. But that'll be later down the road. For now let's go get our last piece and maybe I should get some extra so we can get some of those other cool items. Because some of those are for mods. Uh, the Meteor Fist was one from a mod. The Meteor Head Staff of course. Which would much be much better than our... Uh, staff that we've currently got for the Sun Spirit. Could even start equipping some of those uh, minion damage mods, or dim damage equipment uh, mods. <laughs> I'm thinking of Warframe all of a sudden. First I messed up the intros, now I'm messing up the terms in game. Uh, not to say that uh, our good old Terraria doesn't have some references to Warframe though. I believe Calamity has some pretty good references. Okay. Dealt with. I don't want to let that meteor head get me. Come on. There we go. Alright, so we'll shoot him out of there. Collect our meteorite. Got him. Got him. Okay. So meteorites, of course... Uh, will uh, respawn over time if you destroy enough of the orbs, the shadow orbs, but I'd prefer to keep at least some of this meteorite here so we can just farm the enemies, because some of these enemies drop some meteorites, plus the uh, UFOs, as I said, drop a item that summons a boss that we would like to fight later on. Not now, but later. That'll be the running theme of the series, not now, but later. Okay, come on, make it over. Good. Don't need too, too much more meteorite, just need a little. Almost had this much when we uh, made the stuff we made. So I think... Man, my magic just really doesn't do a whole lot to these guys, does it? I think we get. Maybe just a little, little bit more. Uh, I don't want to destroy the meteor biome, so I'm trying to take it slow. Of course. But it's always hard to tell how much meteorite exactly needs to be left. So I'm going on minimums here. Probably would be easier if you really didn't care about the biome and fighting all the bosses to just destroy the biome completely. Uh, just mine it up as quickly as possible. But we're not taking that approach. It'd be safer at the very least, these dang meteor heads anyhow. And the most annoying thing about them is of course just that they phase through walls, so I can't hit them when they're in a wall. Come on, there we go. Alright, I think, I think that might be enough. We're gonna teleport back and find out. We won't be using the summoning set uh, counterpart to the meteor equipment, just because I find the magic equipment to be much more useful. Um, I've fought the Wall of Flesh with this set before, and it turned out pretty good for me, so I tend on using it just like it is. But, I do have the opportunity to get a great axe out of this. But he's up a lot of bars. Um, Let's see. Meteor Fist seems like an okay weapon, but I really want this Meteor Head Staff. Oh, you can still get a Meteor Fist. We'll try it out. What does it do? Oh, it shoots a fist. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, that's a pretty cool weapon right there. Like, that's pretty awesome. We'll be using that as our melee weapon for now. Good old one punch. And now we can also summon... Uh, 
Gotta get rid of this guy. We'll summon a meteor head. Awesome. So these guys pretty much react just like the other meteor heads. It'll attack anything that comes for us. But the big thing being is if we equip... Where is it? Ah, I threw it in this chest, didn't I? Yes, the Papyrus Scarab. Uh, we'll throw it on instead of a cloud in a bottle. I don't really need a cloud in a bottle. The blizzard in a bottle, I, t I think, tends to be a little bit more easily controlled, so we'll worry about that first. I don't remember. I think I could make like a nice boomerang with the ice boomerang. Or a, I could make a nice-er boomerang with the ice boomerang, so I remember that's why I was keeping it. What can I make with this ice blade? Ooh, I can make the enchanted sword, but I need a crystal ball. Huh. Okay. Uh, I would really prefer it wasn't a shoddy uh, meteor fist, but I guess it really doesn't matter because we focused on magic now anyway. Uh, this is a s an item, a material. Ooh. Oh yeah, I would definitely want to keep that then. What about this Wolfram staff? Nope. Wolfram staff's pretty useless. So we will take this stuff out of here. I think I'm going to take the weapons out of here just because I don't really need to have them in there at the moment. But I'll keep the trinkets in there just because I don't need to have this fallen star in there. That was just in there because of a uh, trying to get more mana, but we've completed that. We'll throw everything else in a chest. And then we are getting towards nighttime, but I think we're running out of time in this episode. Uh, yes, we have indeed run out of time. Can't go forever, sadly. Uh, next time, we will focus on getting <coughs> more... Let's see. Let's quick stack nearby chest. Sorry. Next time, we'll focus on getting uh, the Eye of Cthulhu dead and the Crimines. I'm trying to think and talk all at the same time. That's never a good idea. We'll focus on getting killing the Eye of Cthulhu, and we'll also focus on killing the Eater of Worlds. Which, now that we've got the Meteor set, should be a walk in the park. We may even decide to go get some more Meteorite, depending on whether or not we really want that Ham Axe, but I don't think we really need it. Uh, but yeah, we should be able to deal with him just fine now that we've got two Meteor Heads. And our Space Gun, which is very effective. And we can just shoot it forever now. So we'll do that next time. But until then, goodbye.